So Vinny, uh, on LinkedIn profile is the place where recruiters will go to check after they they check a resume and they like and they want to know more about this person. So what tips you have for job seekers? How to use LinkedIn for their job search? What to include on the headliner, banner, or about section that you mentioned that you recently changed it? So what what tips you have? Oh yeah, awesome. Um, well, first off, I realized that I, you know, I've been on LinkedIn for about twenty years, mm -hmm. um, so I, I have a lot of old programming just stuck in my head in terms of of what works and what doesn't. My bio was written for someone who didn't know me. And I realized that a bio that is purely informational is never going to convert the way I want it to convert yeah. if I don't put in the call to action. So so including a call to action, telling someone, especially yeah. now that there is a link in bio, that yes. there is a tappable, clickable place where you can send people to go to, um, to make sure that they understand where, where conversions can happen. Yeah. Um, also, the featured section is a wonderful, you know, you, you, get a, you get one little section of featured eras and, and um, I actually will take the URL from a post and then I will share it as a link instead of sharing it as a post on my featured tab, I'll share it as a link and then I'll change the image so that I can have more image than words mm -hmm. um, on my profile. And that's a way that I'm converting traffic. Um, I leverage my newsletter. My newsletter is often the first image that I have in my featured category so that yeah. when someone lands on my page, the, the thing that I really want them to do is subscribe to my newsletter. So so everything on my page is kind of push, pushing to, to the newsletter. Yeah. Um, I, I use the top section to, um, I use my, my image and I have a video in there yeah. so that people can hear and see me and they understand yeah. what, you know, exactly from the seat, by the way. Yeah. Um, so they understand, you know, what I'm like in person and, and, and can sort of connect with the person behind the image. And I use the header image to show that I have sort of like three different services and one of them is development, one of them is production and one of them is hosting and and how those three mm -hmm. versions of Vinny coexist. Yeah. Um, you don't get all three at the same time. No one does luckily. <laughs> I'm done pushing myself to that <laughs> limit. Yeah. But, um, and, and I think that, that that really helps set a story for how, how you can interact with me and collaborate with me as opposed to what I've done, what I've accomplished, one, and and just stick stick to the wins. Um, it opens me up to be a lot more human. And yeah. as, as a solopreneur, as a, I mean, I am a I'm a small business owner. I identify more as a small business owner than I do an entrepreneur. Um, I'm I have entrepreneur entrepreneurial skills that yeah. I use um, with my clients. To be really honest, but I'm not turning businesses around that I'm I'm owning. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really as a media advisor helping people format and, and yeah. create theirs. So it's been a, it's been a fun journey, and, th and that's how I make sure that my LinkedIn art, my LinkedIn profile is actually built to help me convert. That no one's landing on my on the the history of what I've done and reading you know what I did at MTV twenty years ago and don't know yeah. how to take that into action with me now. I always might tell my clients have your LinkedIn, but you can update every time. Maybe. When you first graduated, you can change things. Maybe after three years of your first job, you can change. It doesn't have to be the same all the time. Change your picture, your values might change, your job has changed. And the about sections also have to be a story, you know, hook the person, tell your story, and the very end, let's connect. That's a call for action. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, also <laughs> silly to say this, but I, I like saying the things that most people don't talk about. Um, also, just to be aware of when LinkedIn is, what triggers LinkedIn has built in to automate information to your following, yeah. that on your birthday, that when you add new experiences to your resume, that there are certain things that you do that will alert your LinkedIn audience and following in different ways and knowing how to leverage that. Yeah. Um, uh, is is big, by the way. Uh, I'll push people to my end mail, and then I'll I'll have an automated message in my end mail that gives them a link to something I specifically want them to convert to. So, 
I'm, I'm also seeing, I use LinkedIn bio. I use the same LinkedIn bio on Instagram and, and all the social networks. Yeah. I'm also seeing LinkedIn being my number one social source for driving traffic. I use the same link everywhere so I can track yeah. exactly what platform is sending people to my, to my uh, LinkedIn bio and I can see on my link tree. Yeah. And I can see that LinkedIn is by far m- almost, almost half of the traffic that I'm getting is coming from LinkedIn. You just mentioned that uh, to include some resume and, uh, and uh, experiences. So do you recommend to copy paste experiences from resume on LinkedIn or customize it on LinkedIn? So it's, so on LinkedIn, it's turned into content with context. I don't want to know what you did. I want to know what it, you, what you did, what it meant to you and what it could mean in the future. It's that mm-hmm. trilogy of now, then later. It's like, I, I'm obsessed with just fracturing conversations simply into then, now, and in the future. It, it just helps. There's so many other ways that we can, you know, sort of fracture. It just helps me understand what's most important, which is, do I have a track record? Can I still do it? And do you want to do it with me? And that, that to me ultimately is, is how I try to, to do that. Also, I'm noticing, I want to say also, I realize in my, uh, my link in bio, since you do have, you know, a URL, yeah that it isn't a small blob of words, that there's actually, in, in my URL, I say click here. Um, I, I drive, I have words that tell you what to do on this link yeah. um, so that it does stand out. So it's not just vpe.tv. Yeah. It actually says, you know, vpe.tv slash connect. And that, that's where I want you to go when we're first meeting because that's, that's where most of my opportunity start is right there. Those are great tips, Danny. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips on LinkedIn, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Vinny.